Hello and welcome to this informative video about Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification Exam. In this video, you will learn everything that you have to know before taking the real exam. More specifically, you will learn about exam facts, exam environment, exam rules, exam day tips, question formats, and question distribution. So let's get started with the exam facts. The exam fee is 100 US dollars and you will get the Tableau Desktop Specialist title when you are successfully pass the exam. The cool thing is the title does not expire like other two certifications, so your title will be valid for lifelong. In the exam there are approximately 22 theoretical questions and 8 hands-on questions, so in total there are 30 questions. The total time limit for the exam is 60 minutes, so you will have 2 minutes per question. You may think that 2 minutes may not be enough, but in fact, you can answer a theoretical question less than a minute because questions do not include long paragraphs, so you won't spend too much time for reading. There are two different formats for the theoretical questions, multiple choice and multiple response. In multiple choice questions, you will select only one option, so they're pretty straightforward if you know the concepts. However, in multi-response questions, you will select many options and unfortunately, the number of options that you should choose is not provided. So they will ask you to select the correct options, but they won't tell you the exact number. That's why multi-response questions are a little bit tricky, but I think it won't take more than two minutes to answer if you know the concepts. In hands-on questions, you will connect to data sources to create some charts and find some numbers. There will be three or four new data sets in the exam, so hands-on questions take a little bit more time, but they also bring more points. In the exam, they won't ask you to create a beautiful visualization. Instead, you have to find a number for a specific case or condition. The hands-on questions won't take more than a minute after you understand the question itself. An example for a hands-on question can be, what is the average sales in July? For the product which has the highest sales in June. So now you know the question formats. Please remind that questions are not grouped by their format. So first you may get a hands-on questions and then multiple choice question and then hands-on question again. Another important thing is during your exam you can always flag a question to visit later. So if you're not sure about your answer just flag the question and visit later. The exam is 60 minutes, but please, please allocate at least one and a half hours because you have to complete some checks before starting to your exam. Completing these checks mostly takes 40 minutes and they are mostly about your internet connection and exam environment. After the checks, they will give you 65 minutes, so you will have an extra 5 minutes for reading the exam rules and some explanations about the user interface. Regarding the passing score, the passing score is 71% and your grade is scored automatically. So this means each question brings different points and your score is automatically calculated. So you cannot make a conclusion that you will pass the exam if you answer 21 questions correctly because each question brings different points. So it can be less than 21 questions or more than 21 questions it depends on the difficulty level of the questions that you answered correctly. But in general, we can definitely say that you will be on the safe side if you answer 25 or more questions correctly. The official Tableau website recommends having at least 3 months of experience before taking the exam and additionally they recommend taking their desktop 1 fundamental scores for preparation. The course is a virtual course and it is 12 hours long but it costs 1400 US dollars. I think three months is too long even you don't have any experience with Tableau. If you know how to use Excel in really basic level, you can learn Tableau at most in two weeks because Tableau is easy to use and easy to learn. All you need is structured information. And for the virtual course, I think it won't work to pay $1400. For that money you can get many other certifications instead. But these are my ideas, it is your choice and your money at the end. So you learn the exam facts, now let's continue with the registration process and the things that you have to consider if you do not have unpleasant surprise on your exam day. So you will register the exam online from official Tableau website. 
please select the correct exam, sometimes people confuse the exam names. When you are registering, you have to use your full name, your passport name, because you will prove your identity on the exam day. You will get an email with your temporary passport after registering and paying for the exam. Tableau certification exams are managed by Loyalist Exam Services. Once you get the mail, log into Loyalist Exam Service website with your email and passport. And change your profile settings immediately. Please do not forget to select your time zone under your profile settings. This is really important. After selecting your time zone, you can reselect your exam date and time. You can also follow the instructions on the website and test your internet speed and connectivity. I strongly suggest you follow these procedures because during your exam, you will be connected to a virtual environment and the connection speed will have a huge effect on your exam experience. You can also pre-check your internet speed and connectivity from exam setup requirements document. I listed all the important URLs under the video. I suggest you to read exam setup document one more time before your exam day. So you learn the exam facts and the registration process. Now let's continue with the exam rules and exam environment. First thing first, you have to disable automatic software updates for better internet speed. Especially Windows guys, please be careful on that. Your computer has to be connected to a power source and you have to connect to the internet with a cable. Please do not use wireless connection because it is risky. Additionally, you have to have Google Chrome because you will connect to the virtual environment with Chrome. In the exam, you can use only one computer screen. I know many people use several screens for more productivity, but you have to practice with only one screen if you are strongly dependent on external screen. Let's continue with other rules. You are not allowed to use a pen and paper in the exam and also you cannot use Microsoft Excel. You can have your phone or headphone around. You have to have a government issued photo ID or passport to prove your identity. Your microphone and webcam have to be fully functional because they will record the audio and the video of you. Before starting the exam, you will rotate your webcam uh, 360 degrees and you will show your room. So your table must be clean. You should have only your computer, your mouse and your ID. Additionally, you have to be alone in the room during your exam and you must remain seated. So you can't leave your seat, you can't go to the toilet. During the exam, you are not allowed to talk even with yourself. If you talk, they will immediately warn you. So these are the exam rules. Now let's continue with the exam environment. You will take the exam in a virtual environment. The operating system of the virtual environment is Microsoft Windows and you will have the newest version of the Tableau. You will have the data sets in the data folder and questions will be opened on Firefox browser in the virtual environment. As I said before, on the Firefox browser, you can flag a question to visit later. You may also prefer to put the Firefox browser and Tableau Windows side by side when you are solving the hands-on questions. In the virtual environment, do not use the escape and control keys. The virtual environment does not recognize keyboard shortcuts like your local machine. So again, the escape, tab, alt and control keys do not function as you expect. Don't use those keys. If you use them, your screen resolution becomes worse and this will affect your exam experience in a negative way. Since you have an internet browser in the virtual environment, you are allowed to use the internet. So you can make a search or use Google Translate and etc. I think you should prepare for the exam and you should not rely on the search results because the exam committee may consider the search results when they're preparing the questions, right? So you won't find the answers super quickly. But if you still want to search something about Tableau, you can use Tableau support page I think the support page provides you more related result. You can also watch the Tableau Online Exam Experience video to know your exam environment. It is an old video but it is still useful. Don't forget to watch before your exam day. Now it is time to talk about the exam day. First thing first, you have to be early. Remember you have to run some checks before starting your exam. When you log into Loyalist Exam Center website, 
complete the checklist. Once you complete the checklist, you will connect to the proctor. The proctor will take control of your mouse and she will set the exam for you. When the exam is ready, you will have five minutes bonus to read the explanation of how to use a virtual environment. During your exam, there will be a chat box. Check that you are not alone in that chat box. The proctor or the call center guy will be there as well. So if you lost internet connection during your exam, first, do not get nervous because this happens quite often. Use the chat box to contact. If you can't reach anyone via the chat box, you may check your emails. They will most probably send you an email with a link to connect you again. They may also call you, but please wait for the email first. Remember, you are not allowed to have a phone around during your exam. If they can't connect you back for a long time or if you lose too much time because of a connection problem, let the proctor know immediately. Don't wait for the end of the exam. Clearly say that you are not happy with the exam experience. And once you complete the exam, ask your exam session ID, the name of the proctor and the system date time. This information will be useful when you contact with support team. If you are definitely not happy with the exam experience because of a technical problem, you can send an email to Loyalist Exam Center and explain your situation. I strongly suggest sending a copy of the email to certification at tableau.com. They will investigate and come back to you. Once you submit your exam, you will immediately know the result that you passed or failed, and you will receive the detailed result with an email in two hours. Sometimes it takes a little bit more, but it won't take more than one day to get that detailed result mail. Now let me talk about the question distribution and the exam preparation. Here I am on the Tableau certification website and the desktop specialist exam is here. When you click the exam preparation guide document, you will get a PDF file which provides information about exam details and exam topics. When you scroll down, you will see the modules and topics that you have to know for the exam. Let me also share the question distribution for each module. In the exam, there are 30 questions and you will get 6 questions about Tableau concepts. There will be 8 questions about connecting and preparing data and you will get 12 questions about exploring and analyzing the data. Additionally, there will be 4 questions about sharing insight. So this is the question distribution in the exam. These numbers are approximate numbers. It can be one less or one more, but I think it gives you an idea about the importance of each module. So now you have all the information about the exam format. Now let me talk about exam preparation, which means learning the topics and making practice. I have a new course on Udemy, which is specifically designed for the Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification exam. The course follows exactly the same official Tableau curriculum, so it covers each topic one by one. The course includes four hours of video tutorial and two sample exams that you cannot find anywhere else. In total, there are 60 questions with video solutions. Additionally, there is a quiz and a hands-on lecture at the end of each module, so you can test your new skills immediately before starting a new module. I think this course will be really, really useful to save time and money because it covers all the topics one by one without any double talk and it comes with two sample exams so you can practice before the real exam. You can get this course for a lunch price by using the URL below. I add the course URL along with all the important URLs that I mentioned in this video. So you can like this video and help it to survive if you think this content is useful. You can also leave a comment to ask a question or share your ideas. In any case, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoy that. I cross my fingers for you and good luck for your exam.